LeBron, Kobe, Revis, and Andre. And that's not even the half. This is the week in sneaks. Welcome to the show. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and let's kick things off flashing back to Monday, where we had the Soul Collector collaboration on the Zoom Revis and the Vans Hyper Stealth Pack. For Vans, they linked up with Hyper Stealth Biotech Coat for a pack featuring a custom camel pattern over a few of their OTW styles. On the Soul Collector front, they revealed their collaboration with Nike on the Zoom Revis. Dubbed the Zoom Revis Telaria, the sneaker is inspired by the Zoom Telaria originally designed by Tinker Hatfield. Unfortunately, this is a friends and family only release, but you can win a pair, so make sure you're following Soul Collector over on Instagram. On Tuesday, things kicked off with a little bit of news from Jordan Brand, as well as a bespoke from Marcus Troy and Andre Iguodala. Jordan Brand looked out for the GS crowd, and the Air Jordan 3 is prettied up with purple and volt. On the bespoke side, Marcus Troy and Andre Iguodala hooked up on a bespoke Nike Air Force One and will be giving nine of them away. The giveaway is part of the launch of MindofAI9.com and the bespoke is inspired by the classic Air Jordan 1. Make sure you are following Marcus Troy and MindofAI9 on Instagram because the giveaway is going to be random over the next couple of weeks. On Wednesday, the brands kicked things up a notch with a sample of a Soul Collector collaboration, a Dornbecker release, and also we got a good look at the Hyperdunk 2013. Rumor has it that the Hyperdunk 2013 will be hitting on July 20th in several colorways, and this week we had a chance to see two colorways. We also learned that Cole's Air Jordan 3 Retro DB will be dropping on the same day, which is July 20th. Finally, Soul Collector revealed another Nike Revis collab that is inspired by the Diamond Turf 2. Like the Teleria version, this is also a friends and family release, which makes me very sad because both models are very well done and I would like to get my hands on a pair. On Thursday, the big news around the web was the LeBron 11 as well as the Milk Snake colorway of the Kobe 8. Based on the comments on today in Sneaks, you all seem to really like the Kobe 8 colorway with the red, black, and gray. On the LeBron side, things are a little more polarizing, but that all may change after the detailed images of the shoe that hit the web today. More than anything, I just hope that the shoe performs well on the court. As always, there are a few shoes that we'll be releasing this weekend, so here are a few that should probably be on your radar. Jordan Brand has a trio of items dropping this weekend. First up is the Air Jordan 1 in black and soft gray. There is also the Air Jordan 1 Retro 89 in fire red and black, and then there is the Air Jordan 4 Retro Toro Bravo. Now the high is priced at $140, the 89 is $130, and the 4 is priced at $160. Of course, most of you already know that the Shaq Gnosis also dropped this weekend, but it dropped on Friday, which was the 12th, and that was priced at $115. Last week for the question of the video, I wanted to know what other YouTubers you wanted me to work with. Well, here are a few of your responses. Of the 459 responses, 226 were for Nightwing, 174 were for Yoanti, 88 were for Mr. Fomer Simpson, 79 were for Hez Kicks, and 70 were from Kicks Genius. All of these guys are people that I would love to work with, and I am definitely reaching out to them to get this collaboration going. It's a heat check, mother lover. This week for the heat check, I'm actually rocking the Mellow M9. This is the all-star version. Now, I haven't actually played in this colorway of the shoe. Um, I also have the BHM version, and I actually played in those, and I like playing in the shoe. Definitely a good feeling shoe. If you want to pick up a pair, if you actually play basketball and you want to play in these, there are a few colorways available right now on Nike.com, and a few of them are actually on sale, and I think you can pick up a pair for like 120 bucks. So apparently I forgot to include the question of the video, so I had to come down here and record a kind of impromptu version. So the question is, if you had the opportunity to collaborate with a brand on a sneaker, what sneaker would it be and what would be your theme? Again, so if you could collaborate with a brand on a sneaker, what sneaker would it be and what would be the theme? Let me know down in the comments, and of course I'll read back a few of your responses next week. And now back to the uh, regular version of the Week in Sneaks. And that is going to do it for the week in sneaks. As always, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something new is coming on this channel. As a matter of fact, here, I'll put a subscribe button right there to make it easy for you. Um, also, visit the links down in the description. I covered a lot of stuff in today's video, and if you click the links down in the description, it'll give you the full stories of everything that I talked about today. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the week in sneaks. Click over there for something random. It's right next to that subscribe button. And I will see you soon. Peace. Since you're still here watching, uh, I'm gonna put up a couple uh, pictures here. See these pictures up here, these three at the top?
why don't you go ahead and click one of those and it'll take you either to yesterday's video um you know what and i'll also put monday's video up here as well uh so that's tuesday and monday's video and i'll just throw uh, just a random video that i did a long time ago let's let's go with double infinity yeah i really like that one so if you're still here why don't you go ahead and click on one of those and it'll you know just take you to see that video and uh yeah i appreciate you watching you know and have a good day